talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets, we winning on you bammers, baby, best believe it, we losing all you for black on black violence with straps, can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back, put the guns down, youngins, life's about funnin', hate to see funerals, but love to give money, shout out to VA and PG, you see us coming, MDDC, be more what it do, dummy, getting busy with be What is going on, guys? <laughs> yes. What is going on? It's your girl, Busy with B. I am joined right here with my girl, Phoenix Yo. Warrior. This is Phoenix Warrior. What is up? co-host we are co-hosting each other i don't know because we just equal so i don't know my my host co-host i don't know how it goes partner in crime my partner in crime that's That's what i like all right how was your weekend girl it was lit lit what you do it was lit because i seen your timeline girl timeline lit Okay, so this weekend I was with family. Most of the time when I'm going out, I'm always with family. You know that. Yes. Um, we always lit. But listen, y'all know, y'all already know. Shout out to Sierra Leone. Woo, 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 woo. Mm-hmm. Y'all already know how we do. So baby showers, right? Lined up. Everybody pregnant. Mm. Okay. So I went to these three baby showers. Three. At three. Okay. Friday. Do y'all do the money? Or how y'all yeah, do? Okay. it's the money, girl. Okay. You got to okay. get money thrown on you and everything. But at the same time, them baby showers don't stop. We don't do the games. We do straight party liquor, <laughs> you know, <laughs> gifts, money. So it was lit this weekend. That's all I did, baby shower parties. I did go out to, this is new club um, in Bowie okay. that we went to. It's like it's an African club. We okay. went to whatever for a little bit. But, yeah, I was tired as Girl, you tired can, as you shit. Can be, I was about to say, tired you as do, shit. Cause that's that's look, what I do. That's yeah, me. You can do. That's you me. You can be you. Feel that's free to me, be cause you. Cause I had to catch myself just there. But <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be me. I'm, I'm gonna pull it out. You okay. just be, be yourself. All right. Okay. My weekend. You wanna know? Yeah. What's that? I went to a wedding. Shout out to D- Miss D. I yes, went to I a saw wedding, that. and it was just so beautiful. And um, I am getting a little. Marry me, marry me, <laughs> hey, marry Y'all know that song, <laughs> J-Lo. I'm really feeling it, okay? We ain't gonna get in my personal life, but I'm mm-hmm. really feeling like, okay, it could be time, you know, to throw in a single tile. But I had a, I had a good weekend. That's good. I had a good weekend. That's and it good. Would've... So, what else been going on in the world? I said we're gonna use the first couple of minutes just to talk about Absolutely. Things that have been happening during the week in the news. We mm-hmm. can start light and talk about Omarion. <laughs> oh, about the verses. Omarion and Mario. And Mario, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So what you think about that? Oh, my gosh. It just looked like I was just watching somebody watch it. I feel like Mario always been underrated. He has been. And I been. feel like he, has he been. shut it down. He looked he did. good. He sounded good. He, he was just like, <laughs> don't come for me unless I you sit know. for you. I always felt like Omarion had a cocky side to him. You oh, know what I mean? And I felt like humble. that I felt like that cocky side got shut down he on verses. to be humble. You know, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so I just mm-hmm. really just, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. You know, just the highlights. Mm-hmm. I mean, we ain't going to get into the uh, Ray J's. Uh-uh, and, we ain't going to do I all mean, that. I mean, the internet is going crazy. Absolutely. Just the mock-ups of mm-hmm. everything that happened uh, with okay. that versus thing. But it was it was funny. It was humbling. Mm -hmm. It was just like, okay, Omario should be humble. Yeah, and I felt like Mario, he proved himself. You know what I'm saying? Not saying like, I do feel like he had something to prove because he was not. Yeah, he was not up there. Like, he was just, he was back (laughs) in the day. I was like, okay, grown man with the grown man baggy and all that. So, yes, I really, Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Yeah. And then on another note, the South Capitol Bridge was Uh, shut down. Yep. Shut down traffic, 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 but reasons yeah. of why he shut the it reason. down. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. and I feel like, yes, he did bring a lot of awareness. I don't know if you guys um, just was following him on uh, social media, mm-hmm. but somebody actually sent me the video of him going live mm-hmm. with, a, you know, with just different people. And I'm just saying, what he's standing up for, if you guys um, don't know, is 
the abortion, abortion rights. Abortion of, rights. Yeah, and I just, feel very strongly about that. I do feel like us women have the right to choose whether or not. It's our body. It's, know, it's, it's, just, it's our body. It is our body. But you never know that woman's situation of how she got placed no, in that you, situation. you never know. Yeah, so it's not for me to judge. You know, we are not God. But what I am saying is I felt like he do have a strong reason to shut down that goddamn traffic. And it worked okay? a little and bit. It, yeah. But I, I feel like, you know, some of the things that we can do, and I feel like, and I'm just saying it, uh-huh, kill the messenger. But I <laughs> say that because... We don't stand for anything anymore. I, I really feel like we need to hit with her. Like it Martin does. Luther King and them did. They mm-hmm. did the boycott. They did the boycott. They did the so walk. many yes, um, all of different that. things. And they did it for as long as it take. And I feel like the only way we can get the attention of, you know, the right people mm-hmm. is really hitting them where they pay attention. Absolutely. And that's in the pocket. So we really uh, need to come together mm-hmm. and, I mean, figure it out. Because that's the only way they pay attention. There ain't no way. Figuring that- it out and also consistency. We start off strong. We always start off strong. Yeah. But we never complete the task. Mm-hmm. I feel very strongly. Yes, I said it. Phoenix said it. We do not. Complete the task. We need to be consistent. Consistency is the key. If okay. we are consistent with it, we will get some shit done. Yeah. And that's just how I feel about that. We're going to have to figure it out. But I definitely wanted to use this platform, bring some awareness to that, and just some some of the things that we should be talking about. And then also, Phoenix, I want to give people an idea of what they'll see from our show. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know? Well, I'm going to start off with me. Yeah, start off with you. <laughs> So y'all already know my partner in crime. What you heard, we are a team. We will you gonna be seeing more of us together, not just on this show, but overall we are going to be having upcoming things coming up. We're gonna, especially when it comes to entrepreneurships, we are gonna be, you know, um, making sure that we have little social things. Not little. Let me take that back. We're gonna have social yeah, events. Social mind. events. Okay. Social events. We are gonna be having more things. You're gonna hear us talk about numerous topics, not just one thing. I don't want y'all to feel like you know y'all coming on y'all hear this show you know mm-hmm. and we just talking about one thing we always political or whatever the case political or whatever the case may be but we talking about everything especially when y'all know I'm up here firecrackers <laughs> on this mic okay yeah, definitely we gonna talk it's a definitely a variety show so yes. I want you guys to get used to that I um, definitely want to see some hard topics mm-hmm. self empowerment women empowerment self love you know we talk about all of that I think that's really really important and as we come up on events and things of that nature we will talk about it one of the things that's really close to my heart is insurance and leaving a legacy for your family guys um it's really really a passion of mine it was a lot of people you know from past seasons that was always hitting me up can you share this can you do this and it's always go fund me and i in our community i want to really bring awareness to a financial legacy okay so guys if you are interested please feel free to just dm me okay i'm really big on that too as far as insurance life insurance you know um, I, um, when we do speak of that, I'll just give a little taste of that. Y'all already know I'm very, very open about my lupus. So when I speak about lupus, I am one of those who does not have life insurance. Why? Because they always knock me down. I am a threat. I am a very big, um, you know, I'm that one that they know for a fact that, okay, she can't get this because she, she has this amount of health issues. Mm-hmm. So yes, advocating that is big so that I is really, a big really thing about advocate that advocate it because yeah. guess what if it was something that you had got sooner in life absolutely you would not have an issue as soon as would, i got out of school you, i would not have an issue yeah, cuz i've already have, had it you would have already had absolutely so, so yes it's i it's like nothing really, wrong you know you, with saying that you didn't get it at that time but please be aware that y'all need that especially for those of us who have children not just children for self you know it's just the, a legacy it's everything plan. It's everything a legacy is inflated plan. right now you know and so just make sure that y'all everything do that everything is a legacy mm-hmm. plan and just just financial literacy retirement Absolutely. setting yourself up i'm that person come to me if you have any questions mm-hmm. if i don't have an answer i'm gonna get it but i just really wanted to bring some awareness to that mm-hmm. and i think every show i will always mention mm-hmm. you know that financial legacy okay Absolutely. so today in the building okay let's do it <laughs> I got a special guest, and I have her beautiful daughter here. I met her daughter first. Oh, my God. Say your name. 
Are you? Okay, yes. Yes, I met her for a few seconds. Y'all already knew she was something like me. Okay. okay. Yes. I was like, okay, yes. I met mm-hmm. Are you some weeks ago, walking past her store at the pop-up shop event, you guys, that I was promoting. And I was just minding my business, and I just heard her voice saying, hey, you, come here. Like, I'm working. <laughs> and I was like, and she was like, my mom, shout out to her mom who's in the studio, who's All one right. of the special guests today, Gigi. And she was shout just out telling to Gigi. Me, hey, go ahead, do the noise. <laughs> No, I was just walking past, and it was just her energy and just everything about her was just like, come in, let me show you. And I was just excited. I seen mm-hmm. a black-owned beauty supply store. Absolutely. I was, like, getting my life, okay? And it's mm-hmm. been on ever since. I've been showing up, going to the store, taking my daughters. Like, and to know me is to know that is the type of person I am. I like to highlight us. If I'm going to spend my money mm-hmm. and be broke to look mm-hmm. good, I'm going to go to my beauty. I let my daughters go crazy and they had to mm-hmm. watch the three-year-old. But we had a good time. And I'm so when we come back, we're going to take a mini break. And gotcha. I just want to... Interview her because, you know, part of the Busy With B show is inspiring and uplifting the communities that no matter where you're from, Always. you can be great. So, Always. yes. So, I'm going to bring her up. And, yes, after this break, I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> we see y'all soon. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me. Getting busy with me. She too busy being beautiful. It's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby. That's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with me. Getting busy with me. Getting busy with me. We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with me. The best of being busy. Tune into my station, baby, and get busy with me. Oh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, latest news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets. We winning on you, Bama's baby, best believe it. We losing all you for black on black violence with straps. Can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back. Put the guns down, youngins. Life's about funnin'. Hate to see funerals, but love to give money. Shout out to VA and PG. You see us coming, MDDC. Be more what it do, dummy. Getting busy with me, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. She too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with B. The best of being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Oh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, latest news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh. Charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets, we winning on you, Bama's baby, best believe it, we losing all you for black on black violence with straps, can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back, put the guns down, youngins, life's about funnin', hate to see funerals, but love to give money, shout out to VA and PG, you see us coming, MDDC, be more what it do, dummy. Sometimes I get caught up in that, okay? But we are back in the studio, 
And I'm joined yes. right here by ooh, ooh. the lovely Gigi. Hi. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> show i'm excited you are my first entrepreneur yeah. of the thank season you. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you so yeah. thank you for coming on yes. time anytime early <laughs> okay that part okay <laughs> so thank you for coming and i want okay. you to just like i said before the break part of the busy will be show is just really inspiring and uplifting our right. community just letting people that look like us know that we can and be great things. It don't matter how we start, baby. Absolutely. It's about to finish. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to just introduce yourself and tell us, like, okay, tell us where you're from. You, I never asked a woman her age because you look hella good. Yes. So it does not even matter. Yes. <laughs> but just Thanks. tell us about yourself and where you're from. Okay, well, I'm Gigi. That's my nick- nickname. I'm from Southeast Washington, D.C. Southeast! Willow Road. Hey! <laughs> um, look, went to Baloo. Okay. Started working. I always was an entrepreneur, you mm-hmm. know, from high school. Mm-hmm. So. So just tell us really about this current business. So the current right. store, just tell us about that. I got you started. Right. So it's current, but it's been in the making. Yeah. For years, you know. So you, yeah, you so, had it before you had it. It's been mad. It was in my head. Yes, I always yes. used to tell my friends, like, my mother about to open a beauty supply store, my mother about to open a beauty supply store, and then it just finally just happened, like, open it up. She said, like, finally what <laughs> no, so made, made you, like, start the beauty supply store? Were you, were you doing hair, or what was it? No, I mean, I did nails, but, like, we all do shop in those Korean mm-hmm. and Asian stores. Mm-hmm. We all shop in them stores. But none of us is behind the counter. None of us owned them. And back then, they definitely didn't have no black girls working in there. Mm -hmm. So they do now, but back then, they didn't. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like the way they was following me around the store. I didn't like how they treated us, period. So I said... We need to, I need to open up a beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how, when, why it was going to happen, but... I just spoke it into existence all those years. So how did it happen? Did you have a mentor? Did you have someone help you? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Well, my first mentor was my husband. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, and then the second place I went, it's a um, beauty supply institution in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. okay. So that's what they do. You know, they help us open okay. up these stores. So I went to the seminars in Georgia, followed everything they told me to do, got my business plan, mm-hmm. you know, Got my location. They came out. They helped me set everything up. Look at God. So, okay, look mm-hmm. at God. Because I think, like, really in our community, a lot, we don't help each other. We don't, right. we don't partner up. Also, and we don't love on each other. Right. And I love That's how you said change. that. I, I love how y'all just use those words because yeah. even starting, right. you know, my clothing line or starting businesses, anything I wanted to start, and I'd be like, oh, she did that. Let me ask her what she got her shirt done in. Right. You know, she'd be like, oh, well, I don't remember where I got it from, but, you know, or whatever. And, girl, you know, you just got that shirt yesterday. You don't <laughs> okay. tell me. Yeah. You know? I don't like and I'm stuff like, like that. I don't like that because right. I'm not like that. You, you ask me, I will tell you. Right. You know what I mean? Like so I do feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do feel like we don't help not, We don't love on each and, other. And one thing that it's I how you wear mm-hmm. is that it's just like, it what's for me for me? Like, who yeah. like busy like busy? Who like Phoenix like Phoenix? You know, they're going to go to Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? They might not like my nice. But I'm just saying, like, or, you know, it's enough for Thank all of us. Right. That is, yeah. I think that's a great message to come across. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. We you are human. I'm, talking. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, no, because you know the mics pick up okay. and everything. So, like I said, that was one of the reasons why I just really wanted to um, bring awareness to that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and let me add that sharing information is key. For me, okay, you know, I love sharing information. Mm-hmm. Everything I learn, I want to share with somebody who wants to hear it. Absolutely, you know. So I get people that come in all the time. How'd you do this? I, I tell them, call me. You know, hit me up. We can talk. That's they never do. Yeah. But if you're serious, I'll teach you. Yeah. I'll let you know everything. And I that's did. how Step I am. I put it back mm-hmm. on the, right. the person. Like they mm-hmm. always say, "How do I do this? How do oh, call me? Oh, text right. me if, you, right. if you're serious." And, but I don't even say if you're serious. I'm just saying no, that I'm now saying. because mm-hmm. most of them are not. But if you are, yeah, 
I'll pick up. Yeah, like I told you, I met her and she said the same thing. I said, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Remember I said that? So I'm just in a phase right. that I'm not mm-hmm. afraid to and share. And okay. That I'm figuring it out. But right. I know mm-hmm. one thing that I love and that I can be consistent on is showing up to be busy with me on this podcast. <laughs> so it's just what I love. And I know I'll be out in the community, mm-hmm. but I really want to find that niche, right. you know, that I love. I love selling my life insurance, mm-hmm. you know, building them financial legacies, helping right. with the investment market, like, I did the work. I'm doing the studying. I'm getting mm-hmm. licensed to really be in my community and be that face. So that's right. just like really a passion. Right. So, so you were work, like you just knew it was just a passion. Right. It was like everything I set out to do, I make it happen. Mm-hmm. And it's not not me, me not even knowing how I'm gonna get there. Mm-hmm. Like I just keep talking about it. I keep mm-hmm. talking about it. And the non-believers, I may not say nothing no more to them, mm-hmm. but to somebody, I'm talking about. How long did, I was about to say, because a lot of times when we say what we want to do, mm-hmm. we get knocked down for that. Do. Or they be like, oh, girl, you want to do that? They don't believe mm-hmm. you can do it. Mm-hmm. And but I feel, yeah. that's just them. Like, that's not me. You can't tell me what I can't do. Yeah. You know? You can only tell me what I can do. Mm-hmm. And that's even people that I work with. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm working with somebody and they be like, oh, you can't do this. I don't really want to work with you because I don't want to hear what yeah, I can't do or what you can't. I want to hear what we can do. And a lot of times, once, once the, to get where you're going, sometimes you have to lose people. You have yeah, to you not be afraid. It's, it's not a problem. Do you have any stories about just walking away from certain... Friendship. Okay. I got millions of stories about mm-hmm. that. None in particular because they don't matter. Yeah. yeah. Like whoever. I love that, honey. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> the shade is And yes. I really probably don't even remember who they are to tell the story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But who I love it. Is, who's been there, who's still here, who gonna be there. Yeah. It's all that matters to yeah. me. I do so. wanna ask you this though. Um so when you started, I wanna ask you two questions. Mm-hmm. So how long have you been running your beauty supply store? One and two. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you for your beauty supply to run like in full flow? Well, because I, I do know when you first start a business, right. that first year is a little, it's a crunch. You right. know what I mean? So how long did it take you for that? And that's the second question. So from, I don't know, 2006, it's been in my head. 2016, I started doing my business license and stuff, going to the um, seminars in 20. 19. Was it 19? 20 when the pandemic started. Yeah, like the end. 2020. No, like 2020. The beginning. Okay, so 2020 is when I got my building, you know, where oh, I was going. Oh, you started it in, uh, in the pandemic, pandemic right? Okay. So, I mean, I was going That's what took so long, for real. And I was stalling a little bit because I wasn't ready. Like, I, I had the building, but. I was about to say how. I had Talking stuff. to yourself is right. really mm-hmm. important. Right. And I'm just saying, how did you be polite to yourself? Because a lot of times we talk to people, mm-hmm. but we talk all nice to them. But when it's time to be nice to ourselves, mm-hmm. how did you talk yourself to a great point? And like, just be gentle <laughs> with yourself a little bit. Always been nice to me hmm. after I've been through so much in my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if I, if nobody else don't be, I'm nice to myself. Mm-hmm. And I just always believe in me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to talk down on you can't do this or whatever. Yeah. Nothing negative towards me. When, when you feeling mm-hmm. lazy, how, how you be saying? Oh, well, girl. I was lazy for a long time because mm-hmm. I wasn't working, man, and I was just off. Yeah. You know, I had a job, but I wasn't working it. Mm-hmm. And I got plenty of sleep, man. I had all the time to be lazy yeah. that I wanted to be. I used to sleep all day, mm-hmm. party all night, do what I want, you know, and still was able to be working on this plan. Mm-hmm. So it was always in the making. So after 2019 or 2020, went through that year, you know, they was coming, they came up, got everything done. And I was scared, you know, I was ready to open in November of last year. And I was just scared, but I told myself, you got to do it. Mm-hmm. What you scared it. for? Every time I was scared to do something, I did it. Mm-hmm. Just because I was scared. What were you scared of? Was Myself. It? Okay. Success, maybe. Mm-hmm. It wasn't anything bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I just it, didn't know. You and was right there at the door knocking. That's right. what it is. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. some, a lot of times when we're scary. right there, right. we stop. Mm-hmm. You know, Absolutely. and I just say that. But know, I wasn't going to not do it. Right. So you came this far to do what? Right. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Got it up. So that's what I did. And, I um, always felt like the storm when it's a storm. 
right. go through something and that gives us a we second guess ourselves and we always be right. like, Well, I went through this so I don't know if I could do it right now. Do it. I think after two And I weeks, felt like during that pandemic right. time you did it to right. open up a store. Right. I did. Go ahead and put the applause <laughs> on that. Floor. Go ahead. <laughs> And I had to do all these soft openings and bring my friends yes. out to do mark shopping <laughs> just to get ready because mm-hmm. I never owned a store. Uh, you know, I was just nervous for whatever reason, but mm-hmm. I did it. And so. does how God just keep bringing he the right people he definitely, into your life definitely. around you? And, right. and one thing I've learned in just this short period, you can't even tell we just met each other right. two weeks ago. Right. You know, <laughs> but right. I mean, like I have shown, I've done. Look, I didn't pull the wings. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want the kids. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's how, that's like yeah. who I am. And mm-hmm. it's just like, I'm at a phase in my life where I, I don't really care what nobody else thinks of me. Right. And mm-hmm. I had to let the past truly be the past because mm-hmm. the God surrounded me by beautiful women mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. such as yourself. Mm-hmm. Even you, Phoenix, that right. you just really see who I am today. And don't mm-hmm. hold me to who the fuck I was Back yesterday. In the day. Okay. okay. Like do a seminar and have those girls, some youth girls, teaching them just. Right. I don't know. Hey, I don't, we gonna figure it out. We gonna do some something well, together, and, and, we, and, and that's why that. I was speaking on you know us having social events because I'm telling y'all it is a lot of girls that's really cool to me need to learn how to make a wig. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So right. and then you know us we paying you know. Paying it three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should I keep going mm-hmm. for the head? Keep going. I mean, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. You know, but you know, right. we it's are good. But no. as long as we, if I feel like there's a, be a there should be a class right. that can be taught on, even with makeup, mm-hmm. hair, whatever the case we may be. We can figure it out. Yeah, and guess what, y'all? She has a store, a location. I'm right. sure, you know, so it's just so yeah. many things and so many uh awareness things that we could just bring to each other. Right. And I'm just I'm really excited about the connection. I fell in love with her first and now she shares right. now she shares me with you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just like excited and I'm I'm just loving the fact that, you know, she saw me, and now you see me, right. and now we see each other. And there's something about it, you know, and look at all. You know, you just got stuff going on, after going on, after going on, from, like you said, not mm-hmm. telling, you know, what pays, leave it in the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Tell us your story. Future. Tell us your story, because I really, oh. I mean, that's your mom, and, mm-hmm. and I know she she inspires me, yeah. you know, I and I just met her. how hard she just worked and just what she went through. She just, you know, never gave up. Like, she never gave up. It never gave, gave up. And how like, does that I, inspire she, you, though? It mm-hmm. just make me want to never give up. Yeah, like, because it's still bigger and more stuff, you know, to accomplish and to do. Yeah. Like, me, too. I got little other stuff I'm trying to, you know, do on the side, too. But for now, just put all into the beauty supply because we're trying to expand and just have locations. We're going to expand mm-hmm. and we're going to have locations. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah, you got to speak it, into speak it and right. it's exactly. already done. Exactly. It's already done right. because you already, already visualized it. It's going right. to be in D.C., it's going to be in V.A., then we're going to be all over. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And that was my question that was going to be to you as far as speaking into existence. And the reason why you caught my attention um, is because I am one of those who speaks everything into existence right. i could tell y'all i don't name my yacht i done named everything like you know and that's my vision every time it comes down to me doing something i don't care how big it is never say that you can't do it because you can do anything absolutely. You want to do. absolutely and you said that you had that when you went all the you went back what was 2000 and mm-hmm. before six yeah, to 2006, and then you said that you started 2016. Ten years later, doesn't it? you doing it? Right. You doing it? You own it? It's yours. Right. Nobody can take that from you. And you looking at your mom. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like, dang, my mom worked hard for this. I know that you have parts in that beauty supply store that you're also helping with as well. But where do you see yourself in the next ten years? Do you feel like you know? You see yourself taken after your mom, you know, or what do you see yourself? Yeah, of course. Uh, so this is where it's at, like, the store that we is at now, this is going to be my store. So she can, you know, 
go other and expand and open up so you know we can have it on the road everywhere g styles all over not right. just there you know so yeah i'm just putting all my time into here you know because this is where i'll be and that's how it should be there. to be there all the that's time how so it that's what we're be. here for when to a mom can lay a legacy her, like that baby you, know, okay? yeah. you should be able to be there okay. and and I you should be able to really be there and be Right. And also, and my right. son, is, he helps out, too. He's yeah. in there, free up two of my days or our days, you know. So, it's just... It's a family affair. Yeah, for now, for and now. I, 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 I didn't yeah. want to ask, but since you brought up son, mm-hmm. how many children do you have? Two. Okay, so you have a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. Who's the oldest? She is. Okay. <laughs> okay. But he the little big brother. He the okay. little big brother. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to take a brief break, and then we're going to come back. I'm gonna, uh, they, Look, one thing about me, I like to surprise with some games or something like that. So you never know what I'm going to ask, okay? But I'm a surpriser, so we'll be right back. <laughs> talk about uh therapy prosperity what we talk about uh i'm from the nation cap uh, home of the nets we winning on you bamas baby best believe it we losing all you for black on black violence with straps can't depend on politicians gotta watch our own back put the guns down youngins life's about fun and hate to see funerals but love to give money shout out to va and pg you see us coming mddc be more what it do dummy getting busy with be Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. She's too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with B. The best of being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Oh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, ladies news, advertisement, what we barking about. Charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets, we winning on you Bama's baby, best believe it, we losing all youth to black on black violence with straps, can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back, put the guns down youngins, life's about fun and hate to see funerals, but love to give money, shout out to VA and PG, you see us coming in. questions i don't know what will pop up okay but i do got one you are gorgeous okay yeah. i mean for real you just look like a china doll to oh. me with like the full <laughs> lips and just you know single married taken oh, single 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 she's single okay okay one thing okay. about me y'all know i like to try to hook people i was about to say that don't play that matchmaker i do no. that's no. for a later <laughs> show though okay but t- check her out okay but I, I just, you know, I just wanted to throw that. You know, you got to be on your game, okay? And you got to pass me first. All right, so I just had to ask that question. And what about you? I'm single for the moment. You single? single for the moment. Yeah. She's single for the moment. She young. She's a Hurry up she, I know. <laughs> what are some of the things you um, like to do outside the store? Oh, man. Party. Skate, so that, that what's, your, what's your sign? Libra. Okay. Um, I like to hang out with my friends, lounges. Um, what else? Yeah, oh, yeah. I love to cook out. 
Okay. Yes. Who is amazing? Y'all, we oh have God. to do. I cooks, cooks, cooks. Yeah. So y'all know, like, since I'm a new part of the family thing, this part of my family. Ooh, okay. Part of the family. <laughs> okay. So yes. I mean, let me know when I can come over. Don't you know. forget the crabs. Yeah. So okay. I do. I love. I love crabs, y'all. Right. And I kind of stole. Crab legs like really. you can steal a recipe and then you can make it your own or whatever. <laughs> so I kind of start making this sauce, right? Mm. But it's really good, and I'm known for my sauce. So I would, you know, you just let me know. Mm. What's in it? When I, I can't tell I'm just you. messing with you. <laughs> okay, because I'm, I'm trying to. Okay? So that's messing one of the things you. I wanted to do this right. year was um, a Loving and Free Crab event. Mm-hmm. Um, so Loving and Free is my nonprofit, guys. So mm-hmm. you can go over to busywithbee.com, .org, whatever. You can hit that donation button. A dollar. Anything right. you got on your heart you that you want to sure do that. support. Because I would really, um, I'm going to get you guys involved, too. But the right. back to school drive, Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving mm-hmm. coming up. I would love to see the foundation be able to, you know, be a part of that and, and help, help some families. And, yeah. You know, all of that good definitely, stuff. Okay, definitely. so Absolutely. we got some things coming up. But, I, you know, I just threw a little plug in there. Like, oh, look, no, he be having my back. Yeah, <laughs> y'all can scan that QR code on your YouTube page. Go ahead and hit that screen, tap, 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 pause that, and just scan it. I did all the work for y'all, but then you'll be able to read up. And just know about your girl, like I'm the real thing. I just really enjoy, you know, giving back. Can I add something? Yes, you We're can. We're doing, um, because we've been trying to do a grand opening. We never had a grand oh, opening. Oh, we about to do okay. a grand opening. Okay. And so I came up with the date of July 23rd. Okay. okay. So we're going to be looking for vendors to come out. Oh, yeah, right. definitely. We're going to have a DJ. And food. Definitely food. DJ food mm-hmm. vendors. Yeah. Vendors. Are you looking for right. them to pay? If you are, yeah. how much are the vendor um, spots? Is a great location. Yeah. Shout out the store and the location. Okay. Let right. them know we shutting down the parking yeah. lot right. that day. Busy would be gonna be on the screen. I mean, uh, no, what that would be on the mic. Phoenix yeah. boy, you gonna be with me? Yeah, I know. Phoenix gonna be in there. Y'all know I love to take over the mic. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so yeah. What's up? <laughs> Hey, y'all, we having a good okay. time. It's all about having a good time. Yes. I think that sometimes we lose sight in that, mm-hmm. but we, we just, just definitely having a good time. Right. So, so the, the address of the store. store. Yeah. G-Styles Beauty Supply, 4933 Suitland Road, Suitland, Maryland. 4933 Suitland Road, Suitland, Maryland. Suitland, Maryland. G-Styles, July 23rd. G-Styles. Make sure y'all come check it out. Hey. She looking for vendors, y'all, so what's your IG for them to follow or anywhere? It's actually on my page. So right. y'all, you, you, yeah, G Styles. At, it's just G Styles Beauty. Oh, G Styles Beauty. G Styles Beauty. At okay. G Styles Beauty. Right. That's pretty simple, y'all. Even if right. we went to Baloo. Ah, shout out to Baloo. Yeah. I went to Baloo too. <laughs> but yeah, even if we went to Baloo, we can figure that out. So at G Styles, okay? And um, go follow her and uh, yeah, become a vendor. Hit me up if you want to have that information, but you're going to see it. On my page, because you know that's what I do. I will be posted mm-hmm. as well on my page. Y'all make sure Phoenix Double X underscore Warrior. I'll be posted as well. G Styles July 23rd. Hey. I'm also a night. You also? Yes. Yes. Okay. Night. I know. I wanted to say. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't know I already told you that. Yeah, yeah. community now. They both with the blues. Yes, yeah. yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying now. I'm here. Y'all ain't good. <laughs> I'm working on some things behind the scenes so that hopefully we can get in the schools, right. under the, you know, and really be targeting these young girls. Right. I want to be proactive, not reactive. Absolutely. So my 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 audience, mm. or my age bracket of young girls that I would like to reach now right. is from sixth grade, fifth to sixth grade, seventh mm. grade, getting them prepared getting them in the program, letting them grow up throughout the program so that we can train them up so that they right. can go back to the fifth, the sixth grade and, and train, train them, them and train get them. their credits when they in the 10th and 11th grade. So it's just some of my vision. But again, when you're around someone that inspires you as much, you know, <laughs> as you ladies do, I just look, put it in the universe. Right. Put it so out that's, there. that's put it what out I'm there. doing. I'm putting it yeah. out there. Okay, where we going now? Where we going next? Well, let's go out to the shout outs. Oh, go yeah. out to the shout outs. I got a couple of people I want to shout out. 
I want to shout out Undergo Creations. Make sure that y'all go ahead check her out with the hookah. Yes, she oh, yeah, definitely be live. Definitely be live. DJ Philo, thank you, thank you. DJ, DJ Mo. Shout out to Kiana. She's always, always supporting me. Repost, repost. Where you at, Phoenix? I don't see you here. <laughs> shout out to all of y'all. And also, my baby boy and my baby girl. I love y'all. Okay. Okay, I guess, I mean, I have a shout out, which is, I want to shout out this lady. She doesn't even know I'm shouting her out, but Toya, today is her birthday, guys, and Toya is um, someone that takes care of my 3 year old, um, and years ago, when I was going through a situation, okay, I don't like to talk about my family, Mm -hmm. but when I was going through a situation and transition with myself, and I wasn't totally who I am sitting Mm -hmm. in front of you guys, she took me under the wings. She did not charge me a whole bunch. I really didn't have, you know, no one. You know, I had this baby. I'm like, who will keep this baby while I go to work? <laughs> and it was just, I just hit her up. I, I seen, like, a daycare in the background. But I'm just saying, just to see how empowering she is mm-hmm. from one sister to another. And I, I love her. I love your kids. And just... <laughs> Everything that she do to just, like, inspire the community. She is a hell of an entrepreneur. I'm going to make sure I put you guys in the same room. I mean, she do it all. But Mm -hmm. on top of doing it all, she just just was right there for me, man. And, I mean, I know if she did it for me, how many people she's truly done it for. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like... Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, and today is your birthday. birthday. Toya. <laughs> happy birthday. So, yes, my daughter is aging out. She's old enough to go to school next year. So, it's going to be hard for me to just watch her transition and go to school and not, mm-hmm. not be in that safety net of that daycare right. and that love that's in me. So, I just really. Wanted to take that time to just shout out someone Absolutely. that's special to me. Absolutely. So, it, I, I get it with the daycare, y'all. Like, it was one part of my life where, it's at one point of my life where, it's though, you know, undergo creation, she was there for me when I didn't really have it to send my daughter to summer camp. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But at all means, you know, I still, I'm a big believer it still takes a village to raise your children. Definitely. But, Definitely. you know, where we at in life right now, what's going on in the world, I feel like we're separating for that from that. And we should, again, consistency. It takes a village. You may not be able to have that connection with your daughter like how you want. You know, not saying that that is the case, but maybe her godmother, her auntie, a best friend of yours can reach out and say, hey, I'm going to tell you, look, you know one thing mean? about me, I'm real, like, my circle is so small. It has, <laughs> you know, I really have prayed for God to surround me with people that right. become my village, right? Because mm-hmm. I found my, I had, got very comfortable with myself. You yep. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like I I know what you guys see on, on screen, okay? Mm-hmm. But I'm really truly alone. I used to run with the best of them, okay? Mm-hmm. It used to be me, me, her, and her. Mm-hmm. And it was just like the more I started loving me mm-hmm. and understanding the assignment, I understood that I couldn't be around everybody. Absolutely. And even now, I still protect my space, protect my energy. I understand. Always. Who I am and whose I am. Right. So when Always. you do that, you don't just give it away no more. Absolutely. So I don't just give my time away. That's what put us back to self love. That's why I said love yourself as much as you can. Yeah, I didn't I know too. who I was to. Yeah. When did it click on for you? Did you? I mean, like, oh when did gosh. it click on when you was just like, I'm that. Like, I just need to love myself as such. When? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's like I always knew. For real. Mm-hmm. Yes. I so when know. I had. Bumps and bruises and hiccups, because we all go through whatever we go through. Always knew nobody could never put me, nobody else could put me down. I feel like I was the only person that could do that. Right. I was just always strong about whatever. Absolutely. And that's just how it. I, I was. Okay. I, I had my breakdowns and I stuff. I had my moments. Like, my mouth but, would say it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm da 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 and da 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 Like, oh, I would no. feel that way, right? I would say it with right. my mouth. But to actually feel it and mm-hmm. know it just really took lesson after right. lesson after lesson after lesson. Right. And it was just like one day it just hit, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, 
Hmm. Like mm-hmm. all them songs I used right. to sing, yeah, like, like in church, mm-hmm. like this the world didn't give me this joy, the world yeah. can't take it away. And all, mm-hmm. It was just like I really had to find myself right. in chaos. Mm-hmm. And while everything was going crazy, I'm still being still and, and I'm still me, in the, Let me say this, right. I didn't do it on my own. I had a village. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's what helped me. I had two grandmothers, my mother, sisters, father, mm-hmm. brother, like yeah, everybody was dead. Time, yeah. So my bumps and bruises were my own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But getting up out of ruts and stuff like that, like, I knew, like, you couldn't tell me nothing, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. But everybody different. So, so yes. now that you are a store owner, right. you know, this circle, because you look like one of the females just like, you know, because I'm like that, too, so I ain't want <laughs> So, <laughs> so when you look one of them females like, yes, I'm that bitch. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't care where I can get this from Walmart, but right. the whole time I got this is Fendi. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. So now that you have your store mm-hmm. and you are running it, it's been running for almost a year this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The end of December. So yeah. you getting ready to do your grand opening. How do you feel? What is your circle? Like, you know, do your circle consist of other entrepreneurs or is it the same team what do you how is it well i feel like well i don't feel like i know i'm surrounded by only positivity okay entrepreneurs and Mm go-getters you know everybody they probably don't have a physical but they got something going on you know and i just i don't have time for the negativity Mm -hmm. so if i see it immediately you know how they say, I'm going to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I tell people, I don't cut you off. You wouldn't even know I cut you off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I move. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, you wouldn't even know. You mm-hmm. couldn't go back and say, oh, shit. Yeah. It ain't going to happen like that. And when and if I see you. I'm going to speak. Uh, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. And that's so, the same thing for me. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, going through a transition, you know, mm-hmm. I just, you know, it is. But it, I literally, when God showed me something, mm-hmm. I rolled with it. Mm-hmm. Right. I woke up. I mean, I took me a little nap. I could still see the whole room. But mm-hmm. I just felt the energy. I couldn't hear the conversation. Right. But I woke up and walked out and never looked back. Right. You know, and it wasn't that I was mad, but I just seen that you Wait for me, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So Absolutely, we can't be afraid to walk away. I like. I think a lot of times we build these relationships with people, right. and they show us who they are yeah. time and time again. And I feel like it takes a certain type of it person does. to get right. to a certain point. Right. It'd be like it's okay yeah. to be okay. It's okay to be okay. Right. And that's the thing. Like people will look and they'd be like, "Oh, you know, two don't give a fuck." It's not that I don't care. Right. Okay. That's just I ain't got time. Listen, right. I'm battling life here. Mm-hmm. So you are not a part of my part of my battle. Yeah. When it comes down to my battle, mm-hmm. I'm gonna always stand ten toes down. Right. Okay. If you can't stand ten toes down with me, mm-hmm. you got to go. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, when you work for something so hard mm-hmm. and you're working, now you have a store. Mm-hmm. It makes you, I know it makes you feel so great. It's not easy, though. No, it's no, not. It's exactly not easy, not. but you doing it. You know why it's not easy for me? Because it's people always trying to tell you what you need to do. How you going to do but it. But you wasn't there helping me get here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm open to all advice. Mm-hmm. I'll listen. Yeah, I look. I done threw my two cents in. I was like, we need a grass wall right here. <laughs> I'll listen <laughs> to whoever, but Maybe. that don't mean I gotta do what you say. Uh-huh. So you can everybody can talk all they want, mm-hmm. but when I really first opened, that's it. Kind of used to irritate me, but that that's only because all my life, like I never wanted to do what nobody said. That's why I knew I didn't want to really work for nobody else yeah. for the rest of my life because I, I didn't want to. Do what nobody else tell, telling me to do, whatever, you know. <clears throat> I love So, that. I'm like, I had to learn, though, patience and uh-huh. to listen. Absolutely. And all that's a part of this. Wrong and way. the main thing, staying humble. Yep, absolutely. That's my main thing. What is right. your advice to another entrepreneur or someone that's not even just want to start a store, just anything they want to start? Believe in yourself. When nobody else you got, just you gotta believe, be, you yourself. have to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. You can make it happen. I'm on the radio. If you don't believe in yourself, <laughs> if you don't believe in you, why should I? Yeah, yeah. And that's one one of the great greatest lessons I learned is people treat you how you treat you, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You can go around to create your life, or you can mm-hmm. be a victim of your own life. Right. And it was just like I I just started. 
to create the version that I wanted to be of myself. Right. And I didn't, I don't expect you to act right or act a certain Absolutely. type of way for me to be whole and me could be complete. You know, I'm right. complete with myself. Absolutely. Right. And right. humble is such a, a beautiful and strong word. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going back now to me, right? <laughs> So for the last eight years, I've had the image change of my pigmentation due to my lupus. Mm-hmm. I was big headed. I was, you know, because I felt like, you know, I was a teen mom at 15. And, you know, being 19, um, you know, being on my own, doing this, doing that. I had money. I was working hard, doing mm-hmm. all that. I, felt, I was like, yeah, I'm shitting on people. <laughs> da, 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 da. Then God shut me down. Yeah. That's when I learned, dang, you can get an ev- eviction notice. Mm-hmm. You can get a paycheck, and it's gone the same day. Mm-hmm. You can go through this shit, and, you know, you just feel like you're so alone. But I wasn't alone. I just was ashamed mm-hmm. to even open up my mouth to ask for help, and my pride was so big. I'm right. like, you got no, uh-uh, uh-uh. But right. then what humbled me was, though, I'm like, at times, it's not, it's not. It's okay to ask for help. It's Absolutely. okay to fall because I'm a scrape. I'm a rub my knee. I'm a go ahead brush my knees off mm-hmm. and get back up. I humble myself to the T. Whereas though I just wanted peace because I'm a, I'm a fighter. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and I'm like you know I don't want no trouble. I just mm-hmm. want peace. Mm-hmm. And where I'm at in life, it puts me whereas though I'm surrounding myself around beautiful people who. Wants right. what I want. She wants what I want. Mm-hmm. I don't want to work for nobody. Right. You understand? I want to be that bitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. You understand? You heard and it. you are Absolutely. that bitch. Okay. 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 <laughs> All what do you right. Say on there? What do you say on there? <laughs> 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 Hey, Tori is wrapping us up, guys. Look, we are coming to the end of the show. Absolutely. So I just want to put out there, if you are an entrepreneur, Phoenix right. love musician, so do I. Love you are, it. If you are a local artist, mm-hmm. um, you want your music heard, we are looking for entries for that. Yep. It may cost just a little bit, <laughs> five to ten. We haven't came up with we something. We haven't come up with nothing yet, but make but, sure. Yeah, I mean, you'll hear your you'll hear your song as the show come on. I mean, yeah, you we'll know, be on the radio. even though Busy Would Be Song is one of the hottest songs that's <laughs> not on the radio. Okay, shout out to B Street Jizzle. Okay, but I'm saying, like, we want to give people the opportunity. This show is all about highlighting you know, our local artists and things mm-hmm. of that nature. I mean, until I'm worldwide, okay? Because we talk about manifesting some mm-hmm. things. I'm on yeah. the radio. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got this. So yeah. it's just like um, next week, I really, I mean, me and Phoenix want to go in the directions of... We um, want to push the walls a couple of things. I will say, really, I'm big on self-love, so we may talk about that. But also, y'all know that I got a ratchet side to me, so we got to bring the ratchetness gotta, out here. Yeah, Phoenix so, yeah. is... Listen. Yeah, she is mapping out the show next week, okay? I'm going, like, because y'all going to get this. Y'all, this is what y'all going to get with me. Y'all already know pretty much. But y'all going to get to know me through Phoenix, though. You know what yeah, I mean? You'll definitely. get to know me because she pulls stuff out. Lord knows, I don't know. I be having to cut her off, you know? So, uh, so you yeah. guys are going to get to know, you know, Phoenix even more. But, yeah, we're going to probably switch it off where we're doing a couple of shows a month mm-hmm. a piece. So we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure this partnership out. But I knew that I no longer wanted to go in this path alone. I saw her so, and I was just like, look, you want what I want, and I want to share my platform. Absolutely. I want to share the platform, and we're going to build. We're going to glow. We're going to grow together. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so shout out to my guests. Yes. Thank you so much. Shout out to my And it's not just you, it's just me. But anyway, this is the end of the Busy Will Be Show. I world. Okay. (laughs) Guys, if you are not following Rick Radio Network, make sure you do that. 
Okay, I got it. Busywillbe.com.org. Busy will be everywhere. Phoenix Warrior. Phoenix Warrior 2 X underscore warrior. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, um, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever. Go okay. Okay. All right. We're going to see you next week right here. Same time, same place. Peace. Home of the Nets. We winning on you, Bamas, baby. Best believe it. We losing all youth. The black on black violence with straps. Can't depend upon.